Determine the moment of the force F about an axis extending between points A and C and express the result as a Cartesian vector. So the first step is we find our axis. There's AX, Y, and Z. There's our point A, and point A is also at what I call the origin. That's convenient, very convenient for these problems. Okay. And then they have another point C out here. And so from A to C, this shaded blue is an axis. That's our axis. And we're interested in this force, F, right down here. That force is applied not at C, not at A, but on this piping network down at B, down here at point B. And it will create a twisting um, re, uh, type of action. That's what a moment is a rotational action, not a translational action, about this axis. So how do we calculate it? Well, since it's 3D and since we're given vectors for the force in IJK, let's propose to not do a scalar analysis. Let's propose a vector analysis. So uh, I would calculate the moment because point O or point A is at the origin, I would calculate the moment about the point O, the origin, that that force F induces, so it's a vector that we're going to get. We've, we've done this before. Now, the moment about that point, that will return us a moment vector and that lives in 3D, resides in 3D. So what is uh, the R that's going from O out to any point along the line of ap action, not application, any point along the line of action of F, which for this problem, the most convenient point is the point of application, which is point B. So that would be so many foot. You would go four in the I, three in the J, negative two in the K. And because this is so critical, we really, when you're doing this on your own, you want to stop and pause and do it about two times in your mind. I cannot have an error. I cannot have an error. I have to get this right. Does that look right? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Yeah. Then we, the force is given, so I'm not going to repeat that, but right there. So let's calculate the moment about, of that force about point O. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause. I would like you to calculate it, right? And I would like to, I'm going to walk around, I'm going to look for the I, J, K components of the solution plus the units on what that moment is. All right, I wish I could give everybody a lot of time and, and work through it, but uh, this, we need to be able to do this. Is, this turns out to be the 15I plus 4J plus 36k, put it like this, with units of foot pound. And if that was an answer, I like to put it in a box. Notice the notation on top of the M, the subscript on the M. So it's like the moment that that force produces about that point O as a vector entity, boom. So we get the unit vector for that axis and it's going from points A to C. Point C resides in the XY plane, and that unit vector is so much in the I, so much in the J. And you could tell it's, it's a, a four, three, five triangle. So it's four fifths in the I, and three fifths in the J, and zero in the K. What would be the units on this unit vector? Is it uh, feet, uh, pounds? What is that? What are the dimensionless? It's dimensionless. It's like you had four uh, foot divided by five foot. It becomes dimensionless. It's, it's no units on that. Now we're going to calculate the magnitude of that moment about the axis, the unit vector dotted with the moment about a point on that axis and that was origin point which is convenient and what do we pick up here we get four fifths times 15 plus 
3 fifths times 4. I could finish that out and have 0 times 36. Um, that would have units of foot pound, and that would be our magnitude of the moment about that axis. And that magnitude of the moment about the axis turns out to be 14.4 foot pound. The last part is express the result as a Cartesian vector. You know that this is the magnitude along that axis, so you multiply the magnitude by the unit vector. This becomes 11.52 in the I and 8.54 in the J and 0 in the K. It's a vector having units of foot, pound, just like that. And so this is the moment as a vector, that component along that axis, which is given here. Now, I put this, the four significant digits, that's fine. You could have put it 11.5, no problem. Go like that. All right. Let's uh, continue on then.